In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter for your local business that's on point with trends and things and topics that people are already interested in. This makes it more likely that they're going to click on your newsletter and read it and ultimately become a customer and buy from you because you're always providing that leadership and thought about what's happening in the world. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll share my screen and show you is I head over here to Google Trends, right? This is a great tool for exploring, hey, what it is, what is it that people are actually thinking about and talking about right now? So you would want to hone this in and explore topics. So I'm doing trending now and you can see kind of the real time things that people are searching for and thinking about, but I would actually uh, go and kind of hone in on what it is to do with your business. I'm gonna see what types of topics are trending. So I'm gonna go over here and actually, I'm gonna just click on this and go into like, let's just say, home and garden, right? So we'll pretend I own a home and garden store. Let's see what types of things people are searching for or thinking about right now. So we've got interior design as a topic in the home and garden space. Okay, that looks like it's trending in the right direction. Okay, and then we've got all types of uh, related queries that are rising, right? So Thanksgiving table decor, uh, Valentine's Day, Saints Day, uh, Hobby Lobby. All right, let's click through these and see what types of things are people. And you can see these are up by a whole bunch of percent, right? So let's just say wall art. That is a topic that is really trending. Okay, cool. So now we know that wall art is kind of, you know, coming uh, uh, really skyrocketing here and that it's trending upward. So people are really interested in that. So if I have like a home decor business or type of company, that might be something that I might be interested in writing a topic about. So I go over here to this keyword planner, discover new keywords. I'm gonna just put in here wall art and get results. And then you can see, all right, so here's a whole bunch of stuff that comes up. I'm just gonna sort this by average monthly searches to see the ones that are kind of on the higher end of this, right? So abstract artwork, um, cheap canvas prints, wall decor, uh, large wall art. So that's kind of cool. So that now I'm okay. So now I go to Tugan AI and I go to my from keywords to a newsletter part of my system. And basically what I want to use is all right, so wall art, wall decor. Let's just say that makes sense for my business. It's something that people are thinking about, wall decor and wall art. And so I want to generate some new ideas for a blog on that top or for a newsletter on that topic, right? Because it's that time of year. And if I sell this, I can get people thinking about it and then I can link back from my newsletter to my. Uh, to my website where I sell my products or to get directions to come in and see what we sell. So you can see all types of um, different article ideas come up here. So uh, how to choose the right wall art. That seems like a really good one. So does budget-friendly wall decor actually, but we'll just do this one. So now we are going to click on generate and it's going to generate the newsletter that I can use. And all I'm gonna to have to do is copy and paste this into my email service provider like MailChimp or Constant Contact. And you can see this really nice article gets written. Have you thought about the impact of choosing the right wall art? Hi, name, have you ever wondered about the ambiance? Well, the concept of selecting it. So now it generates this really nice article about selecting the right wall art. It provides some ideas and some concepts that I can then build on and write some more. I can also do a number of things with the tools here where I can add emojis, I can regenerate it in terms of personality, I can have it write one that's shorter, or I can have it write one that's longer, just depending on what I want to see happen here. Uh, so you can see it's going to do a shorter version, or I can do a longer version, and, it, and then I can use any of these and click through and choose the one that makes the most sense for me, copy and paste that in and send out that newsletter that's on target, written for me, and works really great for my business. If you like this tip, hit that like and subscribe for more great tips on how to run a great newsletter and grow your business with all these local marketing tools and tips 